All right, I've advanced. I've advanced to twenty. The next snapshot, which means I have to create a backup and load because hopefully it works. In case I experience world corruptions, hopefully it all works correctly. Everything's okay. 20W18A. And Pablo is still here, safe and sound in one piece. Hey, buddy. Someone told me I could change the, le the color of the words on this sign with dye. Is bone meal dye? I wonder if, I wonder if sunflowers die. Also, I shouldn't let my super rod break. Should I? <gasps> hey, now they're yellow words. <gasps> I gave me a yellow collar. Wonder what else dye works on. My shield is almost broken. I know I can dye my sheep, but I kind of like having... It's like once you dye your sheep, then they're like permanent... They like keep making more animals of that color. So, basically what I've gathered is that I need to get a villager here somehow. Which seems like the easiest way to do that is to... them in a boat and bring them here. It seems like a very advanced thing. I don't know if I know how to get villagers here. It's scary. Don't know how to do it. I need to, oh, I want to plant these acacia saplings. Also, I wonder if my big trees grew yet. I'll plant these acacias right here for now kind of infringing on my base if I want to expand this way, but to how far apart these have to be. I want to kind of put it in a grid if I can. Let me see if the wiki says how close I can put them. Acacia. Acacia. Three by three column. Wait a second. It says you can plant an acacia tree in a hole in the ground. It'll still grow. I'm gonna try Placing them like this. See if they grow like this. Oops. Just as an experiment. If these don't grow, in a day or two we'll come back and see what happens. But these aren't fully grown either, but I'm going to go ahead and harvest them. Just because I can. Also, I really need to start enchanting stuff. Let's see if any eggs came down in here yet. <gasps> Look, the eggs are coming down. It's working. It's working! But I want to... I need to breed my chickens. I really need to sort my inventory. Inventory sorting metagame. The Nautilus shell, I feel like, is valuable somehow. Someone told me I could use it to breathe underwater. Uh, 
It's getting all so cluttered. Oh, this is all the stuff I brought back. I brought back stuff from that trip I went on last episode. I forgot. Let's go put all the eggs in here now. No, I, I should make more pumpkin pies. Pumpkin pie, I need eggs, sugar, and pumpkins. Pumpkin, egg, sugar. Boom. More eggs. Boom. Nice, 26 pumpkin pies. I feel like those are pretty good eats, right? I should plant these beetroot seeds also somewhere. I think you use those to make villagers breed, right? But I don't even have any villagers yet. Also, I need a chest for my fish. I should make a fish chest. Here's some chests. So let me, let me do a melon harvest real quick. Might as well. Oh yeah, I was gonna feed my chickens. I need to, before I bring villagers here, I need to like make a place for them. If I'm gonna put them in a boat, I should connect, you know how I, I, last episode I got in that river and I tried to ride it and then it didn't connect? I should connect the water all the way, that way I can bring them in a boat all the way here. I don't really know how to control villagers though, do you just like push them around, just kind of like nudge them? I just don't really know how all of that works. Whoa, it's like five stacks of melon slices. Oh yeah, someone told me I breed the bees by using flowers. How do you get more flowers though? That's all I want to know, because it seems like the flowers just exist in the world and then... But they never multiply, unless more grow randomly. I need to replant all my wheat too. Another day in the life of a farmer boy. left click and a right click like almost at the exact same time trying to hit the wheat and replant it in the same stroke almost sometimes it works good and sometimes it doesn't just have to get the timing just right feed these to my chickens. These seeds. Oh no, I'm going around the drain. It's like a whirlpool in here. All right, I think I fed all of them. Keep laying eggs. Go feed my cows. I still don't have enough leather. I'm gonna go to sleep after I feed these cows and then I'm gonna come back and kill a bunch of them. It's getting really full. Like someone in the ca in the chat mentioned in the comments, this is not humane. Gotta free up some space, right? Yeah. I 
Oh, so many hearts. They like something about what I'm doing. Maybe this, oh, the, the hearts are for each other, aren't it? There might be like too many sheep now. I don't know if I should keep feeding them. I don't know if it's useful to have this many sheep. I guess I could also kill some of them and mutton is good eat eating. Let me out. I'm gonna die. Okay. Put my super rod in here. I don't want to use that anymore. I don't want it to break. I feel like that's a pretty rare enchantment on there. I have a smite three also. Is that a good enchantment? Let me look it up. Might. Increasing damage dealt to undead mobs. Hmm. I feel like sharpness is better, isn't it? And it's incompatible with sharpness, so I'm not really sure. Kind of a cluttered, cluttered box. Should I make diamond armor now? How much does it take? It'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I would only have four diamonds left after I made a full set of diamond armor. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Wasn't I cooking fish over here? I don't know if I ever picked up all that fish I cooked. I'm going to expand this. I'm going to complete the canal. I'm going to go down this river and make sure the river connects to the water. So I can bring villagers over. Because right here, it stops, starts again. I think this is doable. And then it starts again. I hear a skeleton somewhere. I just want to kind of make sure that this is actually the body of water I need that can... Yeah, wait a second. I might have to go down somewhere else. Make multiple connections. But I think it'll be worth it so I don't have to transport the villagers across land. Is this too big of a project? But it's worth it, right? I feel like the villagers are kind of an advanced level of play. I should do this, right? Yeah, and then I'll come over here to open water. Of course, it might be shut off again over there. That's okay. I don't actually have my boat with me, so... I'm just going to make like a two wide... A two wide, one deep... Channel. Wait a 
second. I've got to map this through from the other side too. We'll come through here. This is like the new Panama Canal we're making. Traveling in the boat is fast in general, so it'll be nice to be able to just cruise through here if I want to go back to that area. Instead of having to jump across land all the time. I guess I can make a tunnel too. I don't really need to go up too much. It's okay to sail through tunnels. Actually, that'd be very cool. I need to get a, um, I need to find a book of mending somehow to mix with my fishing rod. That would be sweet. Like a everlasting fishing rod. to widen this some more, but I kind of want to. I really just need to figure out how to get water in here now so it flows regular. Probably some science for how far apart the uh, water needs to be placed. Why does this keep happening? Is that like a glitch when I take it and it's just like an empty spot? Is this how they built the Panama Canal? Dug a hole and they just kept on pouring the same <laughs> pouring the same water back into itself somehow. <laughs> Alright. Wait, there's still a s You know what I just learned about? How there's there's like treasure maps in this game. You can find like treasure buried in the the beach. If you uh, find buried treasure maps, but I so want to find one, that'd be awesome. So y'all, I do appreciate all the great comments y'all give me. Y'all give me a lot of very helpful comments. But it is weird because usually I get them like, sometimes I get them like one episode too late. Because I record an episode, 
and then I upload it, but, and then like, but it takes me like a day to edit it and upload it just cause it, they're like two hours long. So it just takes a while to upload and every, do all that stuff. What I'm trying to say is sometimes you give me solutions to problems, but then I've already played, I've already recorded the next episode is what I'm saying. I don't know if that made any sense or not, but anyways, it's fine. Y'all are doing great. Thank you. It's great. It's a pleasure to have all of you. It's a pleasure. Oh no, it's getting dark. I can fight the bad guys, it's just, it's just like a pain to be working on stuff and uh... You're just getting, having to fight at the same time. Also my shield's about to break, I just realized that. fully connected this way now. I'm gonna go back to base, sleep, and then get my boat and see how the journey looks. Hey fish. Oh, there's clay here. I should mine a clay just so it unlocks stuff in my recipe book. Also because that one villager wants balls of clay. I'm going towards base. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way, actually. Wait, yeah, base is this way. I wonder, is there a good way to get feathers from your chickens? <gasps> There's an alpaca right there. Oh my goodness. There's a wizard throwing potions at me. I don't really want to fight that guy. I don't really want to die at all until I've enchanted some stuff. All right, I really got to wake up and go kill cows in the morning. I think I should really just kill, really just kill most of them until I have 45 leather so I can make a full enchanting table room. Just really got to bite the bullet and do that. Just got to sip some water. <coughs> Sorry, some of the water <coughs> went down the wrong pipe. Pumpkin pie for breakfast. Let's see. Or obsidian to diamond in a book. All right, watch out, cows. It's it's 
Reckoning Day. Now I will go kill this. I'll go kill this wizard now that there's not a bunch of other monsters around. Can I block the... The potions? Oh, he got himself. He hit this... He hit this the sunflower in, in front of him, I think. Didn't drop anything cool. I don't think. Whoa, I got so many clay balls. I think I could drink the honey I have to get rid of this poison, but I think it'll go away. Maybe after I go down to one heart or half a heart. Right, they're still laying eggs, that's good. Wait, let me feed them again real quick before I go kill the cows. Wait, why aren't there like a bunch more of them? Maybe they're all just squished together, there are more, I just can't tell. Maybe they're better having better having sex in this whirlpool. It's not the nicest place to live. They look a little bit stressed out there, like they're all constantly just almost on the verge of drowning at any moment. It's a high stress environment. It's like the opposite of cage free. All right, any babies in here? Wait a second, I think I just, oh, there are babies in there. Almost escaping. Do the babies drop anything? I feel like I should wait till the babies grow up. It's never simple, huh? I'm gonna kill these chickens. Cause how else do you get feathers from chickens? Wait, maybe if you use shears on them you can get feathers. Type in feathers. Feather. Do you have to kill chickens to get feathers? Ooh, apparently tamed cats drop feathers as morning gifts, but I, I keep my cat sitting in one place all the time. Yeah, it looks like you gotta kill the feathers. I mean, kill the chickens. Sorry, I was just looking at the wiki. Oh, you can make fireworks. All right. Yeah, I think I just gotta kill them. I don't want my chickens here anymore anyways. Need to free up this space, I'm sorry. Y'all are the guinea pig chickens. I'm sorry. Y'all lived a good life. Y'all did a good job. Disassembling your pen now. How long do the baby cows take to grow up? so full. Do I have stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here? Yeah, this, 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 this. Huh. Actually, we can leave that in there. Take this out. Take this out. Put this in there. Take this out. Lots of bone meal. Oh, 
<gasps> That's a big tree that just grew. Oh, there's more bees. More bees spawned. Hold on. I have just the thing. Aha. Oh, and no inventory space. Mm. What about the ink sacks in here, I guess? No, I don't want them to go in there. Dirt, 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 dirt. I'm gonna put the clay balls in here. I'm gonna put the ink sacks in here. Fences, dark oak signs, other fences. I don't know where all my other feathers are. It's all right. I don't really need my flint and steel right now. Just trying to clear up. So I can actually pick some stuff up. I'm just going to move all this meat and food over to this chest by the campfire where, the, where I put the fish. I don't really need a lot of other food right now, but at least it'll all be in the same place. Put a water bottle over here too. I, I need to make two additional st main stations. I need to make a enchanting station and a potion station. I could go ahead and make the room for the enchanting station while I'm wait waiting for the cows to grow up. I could go ahead and do a second floor. I wonder if I have more ladders. Yeah, I do. Nice. I'll just do it like right here for now. Figure out a better way to go up later. What's it like up here? We're gonna have to even all this out. Oh, there's a hole right here. Let's grab all this wood. A better staircase later but right now I just want to even this out so I need to put I want to put these blocks around the edges I don't know about these windows maybe I'll put like lights behind them so that you can see the lights <coughs> from in that room how do you make a lantern? I should put lanterns in there. I should make a bunch of lanterns. I think the lanterns are probably a pretty cool option for stuff. Wait a second. I can build it way out here. I gotta jump off the roof. I need a, a bigger view of what's going on here. for how I want to build this. I 
I'll put some ladders on the outside also. Try and grab, climb up the outside. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it like this for now. And then I think I'm gonna put like some ridges coming up the outside that line up with this part. Maybe like some bay windows in a different color of wood. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Uh, but then I meant to use all the, to use slabs for all this. Save a little bit of material. Be eco-conscious. Green design. This is called CLT, cross laminated timber. It's the next next big thing. sleeping time. Lantern. Huh. torches now. I wonder if that... Uh, I'll figure out the lighting in here later. I'll put torches right here. Acacia trees grew. I bet that's a cool color of wood. Oh, I wonder if my uh, cows are grown up now. Anyone see baby cows? I don't see any babies. There's not even any room for them to move in here. This hurts me more than it hurts you, cows. It's like beating back the ocean. It just keeps flowing back. I probably actually need 46 closer to 50 leather because I need to make a book for book for the enchanting table also Thank you. 
Alright, 63 leather. That's pretty good, I think. And tons of steaks. Which is good eating. I'm just getting some wheat really quick to feed to them. Replenish their ranks. This is like how many I started out with. We can rebuild uh, the youth of America. Right. Of Peterland, I mean. We chop down these acacias. This is a weird little branch. Just a weird tree in general. Drop, drop lots of saplings, please. I've still not been able to successfully grow any giant trees out of the two by twos, I don't think. I mean, unless some of those giant trees over there, I think those are oaks that grew really big though. I think those are just freak chances. I'm not sure. There's a big hole right here. I'll put some torches in it so stuff doesn't spawn right here. I'm gonna get back out and cover it up. Materials. Don't want any of my livestock falling in here in the middle of the night, you know? Not a good way to go. the saplings. Mmm, acacia planks. Juicy. One, one sapling. Come on, I can't, I can't chop down four trees and only get one sapling back. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. This 
Is there like a guaranteed way to chop down trees that gives you more saplings, I wonder? Alright, I got at least four back. One. Two. Three. Four. I could do with a fifth, because then it means I'm I'm growing my acacia forest. There it is. Nice. Very nice. Any more? Feeling generous? See how our eggs are doing. Nice, nice. of steaks. Maybe I should cook all these and eat these instead of pumpkin pie. is more of this dark oak wood. I gotta go cut down some more dark oaks. TBH. That's what I desire. I have enough leather to make the Full power enchanting table, I think, so that's good. Yeah, what is up with these huge... Dude, I think this... I think those are the... No, the, here's the... Here's the two by twos I planted. How did these... Are these just freak trees that grew really big? Also, weren't there honeycombs over here that I didn't pick up? Did they despawn? I don't know if it seems like a lot of work to uh, cut down a tree of this size when it doesn't grow all organized, you know. I don't want I don't want oak right now anyways. I want this dark oak. Maybe they don't have enough room. Take some of these saplings, just plant them singly, singularly, here since there's room. And uh, I might try planting them out in an open plain somewhere to see if they turn into these big twofers. It'll drop some more saplings. 
kind of go up these in a spiral fashion. see sapling up there. It'll drop down as soon as this, yeah. Oh, bunch of saplings. Look, I love saplings. They're like my favorite. That's enough wood for now. Yeah. Let me plant a couple things here where these trees used to be, kind of. See if some things will grow. No. Not really sure what there's room for around here. Will little dark oak trees grow? I think they will. I'll take that egg. I like this little forest area back here. Except there's a creeper and a llama. Getting a little hairy. some mowing. Let's see if I do two by two right here. If it'll grow. It's just a little experiment. Also two by two right here. See if that grows. Because we've got clear open sky. single right here. I know it's close to my base, but uh, I'm just going to chop these back down again if they do grow. I'm just trying to get like square corners on everything here. these jagged edges you know. More careful, careful terraces. Bees sounds so weird.
Oh, it's coming along. I gotta figure out how I wanna work the dark oak into this design. I think maybe like some vertical stripes. I gotta space them out just right. So you'll be able to see it from inside if I do it this way. Maybe I'll do it this way. Spruce. Kind of uh, ribs going up the outside. go sleep on it. I feel like my frame rate goes down sometimes. Does this say my frame rate? Memory. I only have two gigs of memory. Can I allocate more memory? Wait, wait. I think I can do that in the Twitch app. Maybe not while it's launched, though. File options, memory settings, use system memory settings. Okay, I set it up to 8 gigs. I don't know if it'll change. I don't think it'll change without me relaunching though. It's alright. I feel like it gets a little laggy sometimes for no reason. Like, it should be fine, right? Put my put my ladders away. Gotta stop doing that. Did I use up all my spruce wood? I think I need more spruce after this.
And again, I am pulling a bunch up right now. I can just put it right back down where I need it. It'll be fine. Actually, I need to leave this here. There's like a little walkway right here. Perfect. Oh no. Am I going to be very close? I'll finish it with these slabs. There we go. Then, the dark oak. Goes like right... Wait a second. It's different on... Have to be different on the front, but on this side. Which is totally different because of all this here, 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 here. Basically, the story is that the slat, these are two apart. But I don't know if I can do that on the front because the windows are in different. Different position. Have to be a slightly different pattern. Might as well put one there. Yeah, I can see Pablo over there. Pablo, Pablo the friendly ghost. See, and then we'll continue it up here like this. Then we'll put the windows in between these as they come up. Almost fell off. Wouldn't be the first time, though. Hmm. Oh, yep, there we went. We're almost done, too. I need to work on these stairs a little more. Kind of unfinished.
I'm thinking about making corner windows. That'd be sick. Like windows that go all the way around here. Let me see. Let me go look at see what my glass situation is like. There's some here. Some here. Not very much. I do know where a bunch of sand is though. Let's see how do I make glass panes again? Like this? Yeah. Right, give me give me all of them. There we go. It's still I mean it's a lot of glass panes, but I feel like it's probably still not enough. I feel like that's looking pretty good. Nice open area. Still got to work the uh, library. I mean, the chanting table into this somehow. Hopefully I have enough glass. I hope I do. Yeah, I think I will. Unless I have to <laughs> redo any of this and break a bunch of it, like I did with the other thing I did. When I got the whole thing lopsided, you know? <gasps> I can watch the sunset from here. Oh, the, yeah, the enchanting table can go like right here. Let me put some torches up here so stuff doesn't spawn. find a good place to put the stairway up. Possibly. Could put it up right here. Or maybe. Hmm. Put it up like right here. I was kind of saving this area to make like a, a fireplace thing. This room is also still largely unused, but I still like it. It's pretty sick. Um, I thought like this is gonna be my mid main work area, so maybe I should squeeze it in like, like leave it. Let's see if I could leave like two blocks here to go into my bedroom. And two blocks here to use this door. Can I squeeze the stairway into this space here, I wonder? Go up. 
like a, a stair that goes like that. But I need spruce so it matches. Maybe I can do the framework of the stairway out of spruce. And then do the actual stairs. Actually, I mean, actual stairs out of dark oak. But I need to go cut more spruce. Sometimes I wish real sleeping in real life was like that. Just lie down, the night flies by, and then boom, it's the next day. Pablo, the friendly cat. Should I try to kill this Enderman? I feel like I need to kill them eventually. What the heck was that? It just teleported through me. Try to freaking telefrag me. See, what's with these huge trees that don't grow? Grow, baby, grow. Give me every opportunity. It's the wrong elevation or something. Nice music starts playing whenever I start chopping trees. It's my nice soothing tree chopping music. sapling so far. I'm going to see if I can plant these saplings very close together, like one block apart, like this. If this works, test it with these ones. See if just some of them grow, or all of them grow, or none of them grow. But I mean, not like it's super important. I mean, I, I have lost control of this forest a little bit, like I'm... Not, I'm never going to chop that whole thing down, I don't think. It's just a lot of trees. Sp 
puros. I think I can name Pablo if I get a name tag, but I think it's... I don't think you can make name tags. I think you have to find them. Why was that door stuck open? Don't they usually shut by themselves? Situations like this? Bunch of my diamond tools are about to break. This wall can't can't be destroyed. It's part of the outer wall. That means I have to take it back even further. To here. I feel like I'm making this stair thing a lot more complicated than it needs to be, but don't worry, I'll figure it out. I forgot I was still holding slabs. There we go.
Oh, a little different now. I like it's making this space a little bit more twisted and labyrinth labyrinth like, which I which I like. I could Wait a second. I could carry this around here like this, maybe. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I think it might be okay. Go up. Kind of goes right into this spot where I wanted. Maybe I'll put the put like a wall in the middle here, you know, and then come up. This is where I can't really put things truly in the middle, but this is where, this can be where the enchanting table can be. There's like a doorway here, you know. like a, a hallway here. There could be another room here. No, th these walls need to match up with these windows, if anything. Huh. That would be really weird if they didn't. This wall over one. I guess I can make the doors two blocks wide, make it a little bit more open. Pretty much got like little rooms up here I can use for different stuff. Still, still got to put a, a roof on this place. Spiders can crawl up here, I'm not sure. A roof would be nice. <laughs> what to do for the roof, though? I think I kind of want a flat roof. I kind of want to 
make it daytime and then go look go down on the ground and look at it see what it looks like I could move my bedroom up into one of those rooms also but it's kind of nice to have my bedroom on the ground floor Trying to climb my house. Get down. You're attacking my bees? Oh, that guy's got an enchanted helmet. <gasps> My shield broke. He didn't drop his helmet. I'll make another shield. I'm thinking about it. My helmet's about to break also. all of these up. They're going to continue going up because these are nice strong lines protruding up. I like that. Plus if I, I'm going to put kind of a flat roof. These are, these are going to poke up. Put a, kind of a flat roof on top of this. But if I put a flat roof down then the nice thing about that is that can easily add another floor on top when I need to in the future. I guess I could put, I could do a lot of this with um, slabs and make the roof feel a little bit higher, wouldn't it? I wonder if that's a good idea. I wonder if it'd make it weird if I try to hang stuff on the roof, though. I feel like a construction worker. Walking around on these beams. Oh no. I ran out. <sighs> Sorry, I had to get some water. some more trees who would have saw that coming me and trees we've got a very uh, close relationship oh, that's a very tall tree right there Ooh, my acacia trees grew again still haven't built anything with the acacia wood but I have it it's that funky orange color maybe I should add it to Pablo's house more slabs than I thought I did. I'll put 
put those two pieces down last because I think I might need them. Need that gap to get back up here again. So I gotta remember to put torches up here so monsters don't spawn on top of my base. Also, go ahead and pop these up a couple more levels because I think it looks cool. To, I need to imitate the front of the building with the back here, like this. And then here. Wait. Here. These are in the wrong place. One, two, three, four. I think that's right. Just need to go get more spruce now. Maybe I have some. I doubt it. Oh, I do. Look at all this spruce. Good, good. Excellent. Should be just. I should just be using ladders. should have taken a glance at what this looks like from outside before I really did this all the way, but it's okay. I'm just kind of in it, in it now. Maybe I should leave this ladder here. It might be useful. Some torches. Oh, this seems different. One, two, three. I think it's this is a little bit different. One, two. Th oh, because these aren't hanging off the back. That's why this is different. I think I'm going to change that.
There we go. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure why I did all this in black and dark oak or not. I could I could fix that. Just because it doesn't have windows. It's all right, I can leave it like that for now. I'm gonna go sleep and then I'm gonna go look at this from outside. And then let's put, let's, then we gotta make the bookshelves and the enchanting table. Oh, I think that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's look at it from Pablo's perspective. How, what do you think of the, the expansion, Pablo? Huh? How is it? Any critiques? No, it's nice in there. No. You, we don't want cat hair in there, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, comfy. Now we'll we'll do some expansions on this place soon, don't worry. I just gotta build the enchanting table and then we'll be good to go. Alright, let's see if we have paper. Should have a bunch of paper somewhere. If not, we can make some. Here's some paper. I feel like we need a bunch more. I wonder what cactus is good for. Leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Here's the rest of our leather. Let's see what it takes to make a book. Leather, paper. Okay, and... I guess there's no... Exp I don't have a recipe for bookshelf yet. We make one book, so I get the recipe for bookshelf probably. No? Oh, there we go. Bookshelf. Nice. Pretty much, I'm just gonna. I need to make a buttload of paper, and I'm gonna use up every single one of my leathers making books. And I'm just gonna make as many books as I can. Oh, look. Fresh crop. Wait, can I make paper out of this? Yeah, I think so. I thought I had a big, a big other big stack of paper somewhere, but maybe I used a bunch of it up. Or it's in one of these other chests. Let me check on my eggs. All right, got a good amount of eggs, but I need more chickens, but I don't have anything to feed them with in my pockets. I need to make an automatic some way to automatically feed them, like some sort of dispenser or something. That'd be cool. I wonder if that's possible. Okay, 52 papers. Not very much, I feel like. I think I need a lot more than that. Oh, here's more, more leather. See if there's other ways to make paper. Paper. No, just sugar cane. Oh, you can make a bunch of batter banners out of paper. Let me go feed these chickens real quick while I'm here. Maybe I need to ex maybe I need to expand. 
my sugarcane farm. Maybe it's too small. Eat up. Make little water babies. They want to come over here, but the, the current of the water is keeping them right there. I just saw one of them lay an egg in it. Popped out and went straight down. I think I got all of them. Must have. This looks pretty sick over there, I like that. Let me feed my cows again. I feel like I really don't have enough paper. Because it takes three paper to make each book. And three books to make each bookcase. I need tons of paper, don't I? Let's see. It might it might be enough. I don't know. Where's all my where's all my wheat? I'll just harvest some real quick. It's so easy to get distracted and side tra sidetracked in this game. And yeah, my wheat must be in a different chest. So there's ways you can automatically harvest this or something. Was it with pistons or dispensers or does it automatically replant it? Oops, that one wasn't ready. It's okay though. That's what you get for being behind. I don't think I'm gonna feed my sheep anymore. I feel like they're too crowded. Get, it'll get hard to shear them and be in there. I could just make a bigger pen, but I'm not really doing anything with wool right now anyways. But also not feeding them, I feel like is also ignoring potential resources. I could at least kill them and store the mutton. I don't know. Plus, one, maybe one day I'll have somewhere I can trade the wool, and I'll want a buttload of wool. I'm not gonna feed them. I'm just gonna feed the cows. They're the, they're the ones with the struggling population. Thanks to me. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, sheep. Also, I need to I can put a roof on the chicken coop some time and add some little decorations. I need to get a stone cutter so I can cut stones, make some kind of fancier stone things. I'm just gonna go. All right, I'm just gonna go make what books I can now. Maybe I can't make very many, but. Okay. Better than none. And I'll make the enchantment table too. Just so we have that done. I think I need diamonds, obsidian, obsidian, diamonds, something else. And. There we go. That was a book. All right. Um, book. 17 books. Bookshelf. Five. Yeah, I need 10 more. Yeah, I need more leather. I mean, pa paper. Paper's my, my bottleneck right now. All right, here's my enchanting table.
Yeah, I'm not going to change anything until I have all the bookshelves made so that it can be full power. My sugar cane isn't ready yet, I can tell that already from up here. Hmm. Maybe I should expand the sugar cane. I don't like, I don't like running out of resources like that. I like having way too many resources. Like more than I know what to do with. Like these pumpkins, I don't even know what to do with them right now. The carrots, I haven't done anything with. Let's go ahead and finish up this shovel. We'll make one more area just like this. One, two, three, four. It's like four by eight, I think. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. wait, one, four, it's four by seven. Just gonna dig this out. Use my shovel on non grass dirt. Forgot about that. monster nearby somewhere. Eat. Water. Oh, I already had water. <gasps> oh, that horse was so dramatic. Just Oh, there's a skeleton riding a spider. Did it drop anything cool? I don't think so. Get, <laughs> I should get more than one bucket. Is it just me, or is this these melons just know not to flop onto the path? That's pretty cool. I wonder if I put a, made a path right here that none of them would flop onto it. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Floppy melons. I should put another water trough over here a little closer, but if I put it over here, I won't need it anymore. I mean, you always need it, but yeah, I should just have little water sources everywhere scattered around the base. How do you guys think, how do you guys think the base is coming along? I gotta make places for the villagers to be once, once I get, figure out how to get them over here also. I still didn't finish the canal that I started working on earlier in this episode either. It's just, just how it goes. I'm pretty happy with what we've got here. I'm so glad we... S how many episodes were we in the other place, in the mountains over there? I like this place so much better. Alright, nice. 
Very nice. Path goes around it here. Like so. And I don't have anything to plant here yet, but I'll do the I'll do the lily pads real quick. Oh, I worked up such an appetite running back and forth. I think I have lily pads over here. Yeah. I'm making like a little... I keep cutting this corner. There's, there's going to be a desire path there soon. I wonder why some of these spots have grass growing in them. Like that and that. But none of these inner spots have grass growing here. I, oh, I guess grass has to... To grow, it doesn't have to be connected to another piece of grass, that's why. Like it never just randomly grows by itself. Alright. Well, I think that's a bit about it for us today thanks for hanging out everyone it's been a good one and uh we got a lot done i think i think we just did like a lot of little stuff except we did make that nice sweet expansion to the to the house over there and uh i think by next episode we, sh we should have the enchantment table up and running as long as we can harvest a bunch more sugar cane i just didn't have this plot big enough but but yeah, thanks for hanging out. See y'all later. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Y'all are great at giving the tips and tricks and stuff. Uh, I don't mind at all. All right. All right, see y'all later. Bye.